Hi everyone, I'm Miss P. Welcome to SAT Mathematics Lesson 1. Today, we're going to learn how to express y in terms of x and m in terms of p. So, let's get started. Okay, so now we have SAT Praxis Lesson 1 and question number 1. If 4x plus 2y is equal to 12, what is y in terms of x? So there are two variables, x and y, but we want to make y by itself. So we have to move 4x from the left side to the right side. So we have to do 2y is equal to 12 minus 4x because we move positive 4x to the right from the left. So positive is going to be negative. And now what do we have to do next? We have to do, uh, we have to make a coefficient 1 here. So we want to divide both sides by 2. So this is going to be cancel out and y is equal to 12 divided by 2 is 6. Negative 4x divided by 2 is negative 2x. So it's easy. So look at this. This is the answer. This is the answer. It's very easy. So next, so now we have SAT practice lesson one, question number two. If 8m squared p cubed is equal to m to the fifth power p, what is m in terms of p? And then there are no multiple choices. So we have to uh, solve this problem step by step. So I'm going to rewrite this problem uh, 8m squared times p cube is equal to m to the fifth power times p so uh, first of all we don't want to p here because we want to make m by itself so we're going to divide the both sides by P. so this and this will be gone and then p cube divided by P is same thing as uh, subtraction uh, of exponents. So P3 minus 1 is equal to P squared. So uh, what is it going to be? 8M squared times B P squared is equal to M to the fifth power. And now we don't want to m squared here because we want to m is equal to something. Let's just make m by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by m squared. So this and this will be gone. And then 8p squared is equal to m to the fifth power divided by m squared is the same thing as this one. So m5 minus 2 is equal to m to the third power. And m to the third power. And now this is not done yet because we have to make exponent here 1. Make exponent 1 here. So what do we have to do? We have to multiply each exponent by one third. One third. So we have to do 8p squared one third is equal to m cubed m cubed one third. And then 3 times one third is 1. And then this is going to be, I'm going to write over here, cube root 8p squared is equal to m. But this is not, this is not done yet because 8, 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. There are three 2's, so we can put two, I mean eight, outside of the uh, cube root. 
cube root. So we can rewrite this is gonna be two cube root p squared is equal to m. So I'm gonna rewrite this one here. m is equal to two times cube root p squared. This is done. This is the answer. And I hope this is gonna uh, be helping you and then you're gonna practice more and then understand more. Hi everyone! How was today's lesson? So, uh, see you next time in lesson two. Bye!